I spy another braid in your future. Hello and welcome to another video in the textile techniques in metal series. If you're uh, familiar with uh, any kind of braiding, hair, wire, or otherwise, uh, you might be familiar with the, uh, the fishtail or fishbone braiding technique, which uh, gets its name from its appearance of having sort of overlapping fish scales. So as you can see from this finished piece of Amut Demerguch Thurmans uh, that has the braid running around the outer edge of the belt buckle, it's a beautiful and versatile braid that has lots of possibilities. So uh, it's a pretty typical approach of just one of those uh, alternating braiding techniques. And let's just get into it. There are certainly a myriad of different ways that you can set up to uh, do different versions of this braid. But the kind that we'll be demonstrating in this video involves four separate loops of wire, as you can see set up here on a stainless steel rod clamped between two bench vices. And so you want to have uh, those four loops uh, pulled firmly and separated so that you can keep track of them as you're braiding. A very helpful step in the initial setup is to loop each loop through itself so that uh, you can keep them in position and that you can pull firmly on the wires to get them nice and straight and even. As with any braiding technique, you always want to start in uh, one point and then alternate. So in this case, we're going to start from the far right wire, bring it across to the center, forming X's, and then go to the far left wire over that, creating that X, and then back to the remaining wire on the right, and then back to the left, and so on. So you want to keep pulling the wires firmly, keeping them straight and even, and being sure that you're forming those X's evenly right in the center of your braid. As you continue the braid, just make sure that you keep track of uh, the last wire that you brought across, moving to the opposite side, bringing that next uh, most outermost wire across and bringing it back into the center of the braid, making sure that you're keeping the braid nice and even, consistent, all of the wires straight and tight, which is where the, uh, the mandrel rod held between the vices really helps to make this uh, smooth and consistent. If necessary to adjust or straighten up your braid, we found that uh, parallel jaw pliers are excellent to just apply an even amount of force on both sides of the braid. As you can see here in this still image, the braid uh, continues smoothly and consistently until the, uh, the end of the length of the wire that you've chosen to work with. So this is, again, is a, a very versatile braid and uh, let's share a couple other uh, examples and approaches. This is another example uh, using a heavier uh, copper wire gauge and it can be a little bit more challenging to get that tighter braid with a uh, thicker gauge. You can always be sure that your uh, wire is completely softened and annealed to uh, make it as easy as possible to work with. And this is another example that includes a, uh, a loop of sterling silver in between several other loops of the copper. So you can always introduce different colors and uh, types of wires into the braid. And then after this was braided, uh, formed around into a circle. So there's uh, certainly a myriad of different shapes that you can uh, construct with your braid after uh, you're finished with the initial braiding process. This is a, a great piece of Amut Demerguch Thurman's uh, that incorporates 
this type of braid into her uh, fairy tale collection pieces. So this is a necklace uh, that is about Rapunzel, and you can see the braid functioning as uh, Rapunzel's braid coming out of the tower. We hope that this video has been uh, useful and uh, inspirational to you as you get into attempting your own experiences with uh, textile techniques and metals. So uh, make some beautiful work and definitely uh, share it out and let us know how it went for you. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can hear from me when I post future videos. Thanks for stopping by.